Wilfred Stocker Sellers May 20, 1912, to July 2, 1989, was an American philosopher and prominent developer of critical realism, who "...revolutionized both the content and the method of philosophy in the United States". <laughs> Life and career His father was the Canadian-American philosopher Roy Wood Sellers, a leading American philosophical naturalist in the first half of the 20th century. Wilfred was educated at the University of Michigan BA, 1933, the University at Buffalo, and Oriel College, Oxford 1934 where he was a Rhodes Scholar, obtaining his highest earned degree, an MA, in 1940. During World War II, he served in military intelligence. He then taught at the University of Iowa 1938 to 1946, the University of Minnesota 1947 to 1958, Yale University 1958 to 1963, and from 1963 until his death at the University of Pittsburgh. He served as president of the Metaphysical Society of America in 1977. He was a founder of the journal Philosophical Studies. Sellers is well known as a critic of foundationalist epistemology the myth of the given, as he called it. However, his philosophical works are more generally directed toward the ultimate goal of reconciling intuitive ways of describing the world both those of common sense and traditional philosophy with a thoroughly naturalist, scientific account of reality. He is widely regarded both for great sophistication of argument and for his assimilation of many and diverse subjects in pursuit of a synoptic vision. Sellers was perhaps the first philosopher to synthesize elements of American pragmatism with elements of British and American analytic philosophy and Austrian and German logical positivism. His work also reflects a sustained engagement with the German tradition of transcendental idealism, most obviously in his book Science and Metaphysics, Kantian Variations. Philosophical <laughs> <laughs> work <laughs> Sellers coined certain now common idioms in philosophy, such as the space of reasons. This idiom refers to two things. It describes the conceptual and behavioral web of language that humans use to get intelligently around their world. Denotes the fact that talk of reasons, epistemic justification, and intention is not the same as, and cannot necessarily be mapped onto, talk of causes and effects in the sense that physical science speaks of them. Note, too, corresponds in part to the distinction Sellers makes between the manifest image and the scientific image. Topic. Empiricism and the philosophy of mind Sellers' most famous work is the lengthy and difficult paper, Empiricism and the Philosophy of Mind, 1956. In it, he criticizes the view that knowledge of what we perceive can be independent of the conceptual processes which result in perception. He named this, the myth of the given, attributing it to phenomenology and sense data theories of knowledge. The work targets several theories at once, especially C. I. Lewis Kantian pragmatism and Rudolf Carnap's positivism. He draws out the myth of Jones to defend the possibility of a strict behaviorist worldview. The parable explains how thoughts, intelligent action, and even subjective inner experience can be attributed to people within a scientific model. Sellers used a fictional tribe, Rylands, since he wanted to address Gilbert Ryle's The Concept of Mind. Sellar's idea of myth, heavily influenced by Ernst Cassirer, is not necessarily negative. He saw it as something that can be useful or otherwise, rather than true or false. He aimed to unite the conceptual behavior of the space of reasons with the concept of a subjective sense experience. This was one of his most central goals, which his later work described as Kantian. Topic: The language of theories. In his paper, Empiricism and the Philosophy of Mind, 1961, Sellers introduces the concept of Kantian empiricism. 
Kantian empiricism features a distinction between one claims whose revision requires abandonment or modification of the system of concepts in terms of which they are framed i.e., modification of the fallible set of constitutive principles underlying knowledge, otherwise known as framework relative a priori truths and two claims revisable on the basis of observations formulated in terms of a system of concepts which remained fixed throughout. Philosophy and the scientific image of man In his "'Philosophy and the Scientific Image of Man' 1962, Sellers distinguishes between the "'manifest image' and the "'scientific image' of the world. The manifest image includes intentions, thoughts, and appearances. Sellers allows that the manifest image may be refined through correlational induction, but he rules out appeal to imperceptible entities. The scientific image describes the world in terms of the theoretical physical sciences. It includes notions such as causality and theories about particles and forces. The two images sometimes complement one another, and sometimes conflict. For example, the manifest image includes practical or moral claims, whereas the scientific image does not. There is conflict, e.g. where science tells us that apparently solid objects are mostly empty space. Sellers favors a synoptic vision, wherein the scientific image takes ultimate precedence in cases of conflict, at least with respect to empirical descriptions and explanations. Topic founder of Cooperative Housing for Students As a student at the University of Michigan, Wilfred Sellers was one of the founding members of the first North American Cooperative House for University Students, which was then called Michigan Socialist House and which was later renamed Michigan Cooperative House. Topic legacy Robert Brandom, his junior colleague at Pittsburgh, named Sellers and Willard Van Orman Quine as the two most profound and important philosophers of their generation. Sellers' goal of a synoptic philosophy that unites the everyday and scientific views of reality is the foundation and archetype of what is sometimes called the Pittsburgh School, whose members include Brandom, John McDowell, and John Hogland. Other philosophers strongly influenced by Sellers span the full spectrum of contemporary English-speaking philosophy, from neopragmatism Richard Rorty to eliminative materialism Paul Churchland to rationalism Lawrence Bonjour. Sellers' philosophical heirs also include Ruth Millikan, Hector Neri Castaneda, Bruce Aoun, J. Rosenberg, Johanna Seibt, Matthew Burstein, Ray Brassier, Andrew Kruckey, Jeffrey Sitcha, Pedro Amaral, Thomas Vinci, Willem A. de Vries, David Rosenthal, Ken Wilbur and Michael Williams. Sellar's work has been drawn upon in feminist standpoint theory, for example in the work of Rebecca Kukla. Sellers' death in 1989 was the result of long-term alcoholism. A collection of essays devoted to Sellers and his legacy was published by Oxford University Press in 2016 ed. James O'Shea, with contributions from Brandom, De Vries, Kraut, Kukla, Lance, McDowell, Millikan, O'Shea, Rosenthal, Seibt, and Williams. Topic bibliography Pure Pragmatics and Possible Worlds The Early Essays of Wilfred Sellers, PPPW, ed., by Jeffrey F. Sitcha, Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, C.A., 1980, contains a long introductory essay by Sitcha and an extensive bibliography of Sellers' work through 1979, Science, Perception and Reality, SPR, Routledge and Keegan Paul Limited, London, and the Humanities Press, New York, 1963 reissued in 1991 by Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, C.A. This edition contains a complete bibliography of Sellers' published work through 1989, Philosophical Perspectives, pp. Charles C. Thomas, Springfield, Illinois, 1967. Reprinted in two volumes, Philosophical Perspectives, History of Philosophy and Philosophical Perspective, Metaphysics and Epistemology, Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, C.A., 1977. Science and Metaphysics, Variations on Kantian Themes, S&M, Routledge and Keegan Paul Limited, London, and the Humanities Press, New York, 1968. The 1966 John Locke Lectures. Reissued in 1992 by Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, C.A. This edition contains a complete bibliography of Sellers' published work through 1989, a register of Sellers' philosophical correspondence, and a listing of circulated but unpublished papers and lectures, essays in philosophy and its history, E.P.H. D. Rydell Publishing Co., Dordrecht, Holland, 1975. 
Naturalism and Ontology, N and O, Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, CA, 1979, an expanded version of the 1974 John Dewey Lectures, The Metaphysics of Epistemology, Lectures by Wilfred Sellers, edited by Pedro Amaral, Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, CA, 1989, contains a complete bibliography of Sellers' published work through 1989, Empiricism and the Philosophy of Mind, EPM Asterisk, edited by Robert Brandom, Harvard. Harvard University Press, Cambridge, Massachusetts, 1997, the original, 1956, version of EPM see below, lacking footnotes added in SPR, with an introduction by Richard Rorty and study guide by Brandom. Kant and Pre-Kantian Themes, Lectures by Wilfred Sellers, edited by Pedro Amaral, Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, CA, 2002, a transcription of Sellers' Kant Lectures, plus essays on Descartes, Locke, Spinoza, and Leibniz. Kant's Transcendental Metaphysics, Sellers' Cassere Lecture Notes and Other Essays, edited by Jeffrey F. Sitcha, Ridgeview Publishing Co., Atascadero, CA, 2002, contains a complete bibliography of Sellers' published work, philosophical correspondence, and circulated manuscripts through 2002. Topic. See also American philosophy List of American philosophers Transcendental empiricism References Further reading McDowell, John. Mind and World. Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University Press, 1996. Rorty, Richard. Philosophy and the Mirror of Nature. Princeton, New Jersey, Princeton University Press, 1979 External links Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Wilfred Sellers, Willem de Vries. "'Wilfred Sellers, Philosophy of Mind". Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Wilfred Sellers website Includes complete bibliography of his writings, some readable online, and a list of the Ph.D.s he supervised. Autobiographical Reflections Dictionary of the Philosophy of Mind – Wilfred Sellers – Article by Christopher Gauker on Sellers' Contributions to the Philosophy of Mind. Finding aid for the Wilfred S. Sellers Archive at the University of Pittsburgh Notre Dame Lectures 1969-1986 transcribed from recordings by Sellers student Pedro Amaral. The Wilfred Sellers Society, homepage of the Wilfred Sellers Society. Wilfred Sellers L'Imagine Scientifica e L'Imagine Manifesto a Cura di, Carlo Marletti, Giacomo Turbanti, Edizioni ETS 2013. Wilfred S. Sellers Papers, Wilfred S. Sellers Papers, 1899-1990, ASP.1991.01, Archives of Scientific Philosophy, Special Collections Department, University of Pittsburgh. Closing parenthesis. <laughs>